assalamu alaikum everyone this is dishan usmani and you are watching my youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe it so this video is about upcoming so the aramco ipo a lot of question uh, a lot of people have asked me uh, should they invest should they not invest uh, is it good is it bad what is ipo in general what are the types what is the procedure uh, to buy the shares uh, what is saudi aramco what is the history uh, are there any chances that it will make profitable so i i thought to make a, this a small short video to explain a few things so if you would have invested one thousand dollar at the time of facebook ipo you would have made forty eight hundred dollar if you would have invested the same amount of money one thousand dollar at the time of ipo for nike the shoes company you would have made five point two million dollar if you would have spent in amazon it would have been close to two hundred thousand dollar if you would have spent uh, one thousand dollar in the shares for the IPO for Oracle. Uh, you would have made half a million dollar. Adobe, close to half a million dollar. Uh, 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 and then you know Netflix, uh, uh, eighty six thousand dollar. So this is the amount uh, that you would have met at the time of IPO. So IPO, what is IPO? IPO is a general, simple way to raise money for a private limited company from public. So it's called initial public offering. So they will take a part of their shares list it on the stock exchange and sell it to the public when they do the ipo there are two types of ipo number one is fixed price ipo they would set the price with the investment bank uh, banks that this is the price we want to sell and you will buy it second is the book building procedure when they set the price range we call it price band a floor price a lower price and the upper uh, upper limit we call it a cap price so for saudi aramco is between 30 and 32 rials uh, what the final price would be that will come after the book building, uh, uh, book building uh, um, um, uh, phase or procedure. So what will happen? You can go to any of the participating banks. Uh, there are 13. There is Ahli, Al Ahli, there is Samba, there is Saab, there is Al Bilad, there is Riyadh Bank and there are a lot of uh, other banks as well. You can find all of the participating uh, financial institutions information from the link below and all of the red herring books. So red herring book is about a company that talks about its strategy, about capital, about past financial history about future projections and plans for example Saudi Aramco is the most profitable company in the world so it, its net uh, revenue in last year 2018 was 111 uh, billion dollar compare it with uh, with uh, uh, other big companies so its net value net revenue is more than Google Exxon uh, Exxon, Exxon Mobile uh, Google and Apple combined uh, so, for example, Saudi Aramco would be giving $75 billion uh, as uh, net uh, revenue as, as, as cash dividends to their uh, stakeholders next year. Compare it with Apple, which gives $2.6 billion only to their investors. So, this is the most profitable company in the world. They also have a very, very low cost, very, very efficient procedures because oil is just around the surface in Saudi Arabia. You don't have to go in a sea and drill uh, hundreds of miles uh, uh, underneath the sea. So the cost, uh, the cost of extracting a barrel of oil for uh, for BP is twelve dollar uh, per barrel. For Exxon Mobil is fourteen dollar. For Shell is thirteen dollar. For Saudi Aramco is only two point eight dollar uh, a barrel. So it gives a huge uh, margin for the profitability. Uh, so you can find all of the information in the links given below. You can find about the red herring uh, prospectus. You can find about uh, the IPO, its dates. It's open only for 10 days from November 18th to November 28th. This is the window that you have. You can log into your web, uh, your your mobile account or your, your bank account. You can apply for the shares. You can only get these shares in different slots of 10, 20, 30, 40, multi, multi, uh, multiplication of 10s. And then you submit the form. It will deduct the money from your account. For example, you apply for for uh, 100 shares it will uh, deduct 3200 rials from your account at the, uh, at the day of announcement on December 5th you will know how many shares you will get if there is over subscription there will be allotment procedure if there is under subscription they can adjust the rates of the uh, shares uh, they will refund you back the money if you have paid uh, uh, more and if the share price is lower than 32 but it's a very very nice way and good opportunity uh, go good opportunity to invest if you want to learn more about uh, Saudi Aramco there is a book by Ellen Wald. It's called Saudi Incorporation. Link is given below as well. You should read that book. Uh, uh, Saudi Aramco is an 87 year old company. They established in 1933 uh, between the, there is an agreement between Saudi uh, 
Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the Standard Oil Company of California, which we now known as Chevron, in 1973, Saudi Arabia bought back the whole uh, uh, Saudi Aramco. So now Saudi Aramco is 100% owned by Saudi uh, Arabian government. It's a very, very good uh, way to uh, invest and make some money. What will happen uh, 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 next? Uh, um, nobody can uh, say for surety like i'm not a financial advisor i do not have any certification in that i do not have a license so i'm only sharing my personal perspective uh, my personal opinion so please take it with a grain of salt uh, take uh, talk to your financial advisor before you invest but it seems to be a very very good opportunity with the uh, overall valuation of saudi uh, uh, aramco has they are seeking around 1.7 trillion dollar uh, which is huge it is one of the largest ipo in the history of humankind uh, uh, and it's, it's very very good opportunity for you uh, to learn this process uh, to make some money as well but again as I said that I'm not a financial advisor so please talk to your financial advisor before you invest I like to add one more thing that why do companies do the IPOs in the first place uh, they want to raise funds for different things they want to scale up uh, and you know launch few more plants they want to diversify their portfolio and do investment in other things they want to clear off their debt uh, they will have some expansion plans. You can find all of these details in the Red Herring Prospectus. Uh, and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and keep watching. Thank you very much. This is Ishan Usmani and this is my YouTube channel. Allah Hafiz. Want to learn more? Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon.